go. Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Run number two. Whipworm. Tears move much faster with it. Piggy bank. Don't remember exactly what it does. I think it drops coins if I get hit. Something along those lines. Nothing amazing, but I'll wind up with a money versus pat work or some really good shop items could come in handy looks like it might also increase my money drops in general hard to tell certainly seems that way so far Super secret room? Guess not. Alright. Oh, up against the headless horseman. Oh, yep, yeah, definitely dropped some money just now. Myself trapped in there good. A more skilled player probably could have weaved on through there, but oh. horse is gone, now it's just the head. So I get myself a pony for flight and dash attacks. So now I'll be able to fly over obstacles like these rocks. Then I'll have a dash attack as well. Isn't that friendly like? Oop, got all this money. Let's go check out the arcade. Fighting the deadly sin of pride. Not sure why he, uh, Use troll bombs everywhere, but okay. Oh, still got hit, huh? Oh, my goodness. I don't know if you're shenanigans, sir.
Ooh, good skeleton key. That was just kind of fun. Give out my pony charge. Speed and shot speed up. Let's see how that looks without the whip room. Nope, still pretty fast. So that's good. Two of spades. Multiply my keys by two. The fool I don't care about. The stars. I think that takes me to my item room. Yep. So, hold on to the devil. Nothing much good in here, might as well. Oh, <laughs> not really gonna get to pump out the donation machine much either. Alright. With some fast moving statues, too. Kind of got myself good and trapped in there. Um. Super secret? Oh yeah. Needle protection umbilical cord. So apparently the umbilical cord is nothing wonderful. If I get knocked down to half a heart. It will spawn a little Steven familiar for that one room. But in order to get this familiar back, or to have it again, I'd have to get healed and knocked back down to one heart, or one half heart, so. Hmm. I'm doing so poorly, let's go ahead and get some of this extra damage going here. After all. Oh, Mr. Dolly, range and speed up. Flat Penny Wealth of Answers.
That's not bad at all. 50% chance of getting the key when I pick up a coin. So. I always want to make sure you have enough keys. Hate to get locked out of your item room. Alright. Splash damage and tears up. Oh, and another devil card. That's not bad at all. Do the challenge room. Gotta say, splash damage is the tits. Even if you're not fully accurate, if you get close, odds are you can do a little something. Plus, when you have mobs like that, you know, you're hitting the one guy, but then you're also damaging everybody else. Never a bad deal. Oops, full of my card. Let me go with my pill. Telepills. Into my item room. Okay. At least my double card's still there. Take my petrified poop. That is definitely one of my favorite trinkets. Love getting more stuff from the piles of poop. Nothing wrong with that. Take some really funny bounces sometimes. Secret room? Oh yeah. skeletons man luckily I've got lots of range and splash damage otherwise if I got to be close to them that doesn't go well for me at all oh sweet now I got poison bombs are you my super secret room you are not my super secret room how sad
probably gonna be right here then. Oh yeah. Got lots of coins. Anything worth buying? Mom's pill bottle. Let's skip it. The frail. Hmm. Dude's kind of hardcore. Luckily, I am too with my damage up. A little bandage for a little health up. Take my half the heart. Right along. Flies take each other out though. Hmm. Didn't work out terribly though. Ooh, that was a good treasure chest. Off of those guys and let my range up do its work, huh? Possible secret room. Well played. One bomb. I'll use it to blow up a corpse. Why blow up a corpse, you may ask? Well, small possibility of getting money or a trinket or something but also for whatever reason blowing up corpses increases your chances of an angel room so if you want an angel room instead of a devil room you got the extra bombs you might as well blow them bad boys up Think of another time where a blown up corpse will do well for you, but here you go. Man, I had to take them all out. Bomb flies in a room usually get at least a couple. Ooh, I unlocked Kane. But that's exciting. Tell you what, it's nice to be able to get a little distance between me and all these wackadoodle spiders. Big tears, long range. Plenty of bombs.
I think that's what that does. It says challenge me. for the lost. Alright, here we go. Oh my goodness. Polycephalus. Polycephalus? At least I've got lots of room to maneuver. I've got these nice long range splash of damage interiors. Right into me, that's not polite. PJs, I feel cozy and I unlocked Lazarus. But the PJs gave me a whole but ton of soul hearts which is kind of cozy if you think about it Let's see I'll take that portal out before things get out of hand in here I kind of forgotten that I hadn't even gotten my item room yet. Oh, Gimpy, my man. What are my more favorite items? The old Gimp mask. Gives a good chance at getting a heart drop upon getting hit. So along with those coins from the piggy bank, once in a while I get a red heart, or maybe even a soul heart, or maybe even a black heart. Occasionally, perhaps even an eternal heart. Aren't I over the pit? That's an excellent question. Because I'm a little bit slow sometimes, is the answer. fly over the pit, he can't hit me. Just can't do it. That's got some awfully high hops for... Oh, health down. Ah, right, cool. But how about a, how about a secret room to make up for it? Oh, yeah. Appreciate it. One makes me larger. Appreciate an Alice. Reference to Alice in Wonderland. Not a very helpful one since it makes me a bigger target. Some wheezy spiders here. Nudes from the Afterbirth Plus edition. Looks like we left behind some egg sacks too. Lovely. Who doesn't love a good egg sack, right? Mm.
All right, sweet item room. What do you have? Something I don't recognize. Analog stick. Three sixty twos. Oh my. Okay. Very interesting. That might prove to be difficult for me to use. Luckily, I've got my buttons programmed as well as my analog stick, so. This will be working pretty well for me, though, so. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Oh my goodness, I've got a lot of wheezy spiders this level. Or. Reminds me of the sound the little puck balls make in Spirited Away. Or is it my neighbor Totoro? I don't know. Somebody's still alive. Oh, there you are. And the battery. Super secret room? Would you be my Valentine? Apparently not. Would you be my secret room? Nope. Mm. I was not paying attention to what kind of spiders those were. Oh, well, there's my get mask doing work. Amnesia. Let's not use that. Delopia. Wait, what did that say? Double item vision. Ooh, okay. That means I'll probably get twice the keys and such. Not able to fly anymore though. So I guess that's kind of disappointing. Tell you what, if it doubles my hearts dropping from the gift mask and whatnot. Ooh. And a good mask of infamy. I'll never turn down a chance to not get damaged. Oh, you poop head. Well. It actually doesn't work out too terribly. Got out of there without having to kill all three waves. So if I stuck around, I'd have a chance to see what kind of items drop and see if my Dilopia, 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 dilapidated whatnot. Right. Got some lovers for when all my soul hearts run out. Alright, gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Kind of missing that flight right now. Actually, not too bad though. Got plenty of maneuver maneuver. To maneuver. Stay far enough back, my splash damage will hit him. Oop. Of course, I could just walk over some spikes for no damn reason at all. Except that I'm not paying attention. didn't seem to get and where could my super secret room be if not off to the left of that one huh. all right well, let's head back go beat this boss do what we do Oh, 
I miss it not being able to fly, so we're just gonna go get our pony back, no big deal. So weird. You should be my super secret room. Oh, Brownie, you're a big glob of poo. That's what you are, a big glob of poo. Makes exploding poo piles and little corny happy poos. And just runs around doing all sorts of poo-related madness. Oh my goodness. You need to pull it together, young man. Start dodging some of them corns. There we go. Matchbook for Evil Up. Three bonus bombs and a devil room. I've only got three heart containers, so I'm just gonna pass on all that ruckus. Alright. Here we go. Check it for items, man. I don't want to get burned. It's a little ghosties in here. That guy's pretty easy. Just whatever direction he's facing, stay away from his spectral vomit. Oh goodness. Dang it, mom's hand. Was not helpful. Stand over the pit. Although it looks like they can fall in the pit even. Alright, come on. Store? You're not a store. You are. Death or strength? Alright, so death does immediate damage to everything in the room. Strength boosts all of my stats except for tears and gives me an extra heart container for the duration of the room. So we're going to go ahead and hold on to that good old strength. I just get rid of one of you guys? Life would be so much simpler if there was only one monstro in my life. Hmm. Alright, something good in the arcade? God, three gurglings, really? That's what we get. Hmm. Looks like I've got a direct path down to the womb. Fighting mom. Maybe I'll come back and take it after I get my find my item room. A P 
pink razor. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and grab Bomb's razor. Apparently it's gonna orbit around, damage enemies, and cause them to bleed as well, so. Not bad at all. And we're going to go ahead and skip our mom fight. Pop right down to the womb, fortunately. I've only got three heart containers. Every hit in here is going to do one heart worth of damage. No more item rooms, no more shops. Has to be especially careful. The Empress. Not sure. Does the horror? It does the horror of Babylon, meaning that if I get down to half a heart, it's going to kick in. Actually, when I kick it in, it'll kick in. Yeah, all stats or damage and speed. Stick with all stats. Oh god. We got the dirty ones have cross shaped brimstones. It's basically terrible. Mm. I'm a terrible dodger. And thus ends. Run number two, Afterbirth Plus. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.